Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing very well in today's video. I am going to do my top 10 least painful tattoos. I recently did one about my top 10 most painful tattoos. I'll leave a link down below to that if you're interested in knowing what my most painful tattoos were. But in this one I'm going to talk about like the least painful tattoos I've ever got. And like I say in most videos that everyone's pain tolerance is different. What is painful for me might not be painful for you. And what is not so painful for me might be extremely painful for you. We all have different pain tolerances and that's just what makes us great as you Human beings we're all different it's great so let's start off from number 10 so this is kind of like it's it was quite painful but it wasn't like super painful if that makes sense like number one is going to be my least painful <laughs> number 10 was my lower back tattoo i have had two lower back tattoos i once upon a time had a lovely tribal tattoo i was young when i got it it's been covered up since that's why i've had two um but the first one that i had was like a tribal tattoo it had the rose in the middle of it oh it was it was yeah it was a work of art <laughs> um but yeah i got that covered up because i just didn't want to have you know the standard lower back tribal tattoo like it was a bit of a meme eventually like when i first got it done it was kind of like a popular thing to do like this was back in like 2008 so that was like 12-ish years ago times were different all of that jazz yeah i got it covered up by having a deer skull put over it and i know before anyone from germany <laughs> comments anything i know that the slang term for lower back tattoo is arse antlers <laughs> most people will call a lower back tattoo a tramp stamp i absolutely hate that term so so much um but ironically that term in germany pretty much translates as arse antlers <laughs> i've been told that a few times and yes i have a deer skull on my lower back and yes it has antlers <laughs> But yeah, uh, overall, it wasn't like the most painful sort of tattoo I had, especially the first time because it was quite small. But my cover up was, it's quite big. It takes up like one third of my back now. It Like the antlers do go quite high up onto my back. More towards the spine is more of the spicier bit. Not directly on the spine for me, but like on the sides of the spine was a bit more painful. But overall, compared to like my neck tattoo or hand tattoos it really wasn't that bad and number nine surprisingly for maybe a lot of you is rib tattoos i have again quite a few rib tattoos well i had rib tattoos done again when i was like 18 19 and i had them covered up um because i had like this cherry skull situation with stars it was awful i got that covered up um with this sailor girl situation that wasn't too bad. I think that was done in three sessions. Again, like ribs really aren't that bad. People will say, well, for me personally, a lot of people say it's like the most painful placement to get tattooed. But for me, it wasn't too bad, to be honest with you. Like, obviously it was painful. All tattoos are painful, but. And then I have script on my ribs also that says carpe diem. I know, cliche. Um, in this sort of like old school font. And again, it wasn't terrible. I think the worst bit about getting your ribs tattooed from, well, for me personally, is it can be kind of tickly. It's like annoying. It's not painful, it's more annoying. It's like someone is just continuously jabbing you in the ribs with like their finger. You know, if you've ever had someone come behind you and like do that in your ribs it's kind of like that it's just annoying number eight is forearm which is like this kind of area right here again with a lot of placement tattoos on the bigger scale there will be areas that are a little bit more painful than other areas but overall i would say forearm isn't the worst place to get tattooed again it has its spicy moments but it really isn't that bad and i've had my forearms tattooed quite a bit now <laughs> number seven is frunk frunk <laughs> front of ankle what the fuck is frunk <laughs> but yeah number seven is front of ankle again with this one it was spicy in areas and with sort of lower leg placement tattoos you do get the blood rush so i will take that into account i definitely had a lot of blood rush with this tattoo i got it done at a tattoo convention and like walking around the tattoo convention afterwards was pretty spicy i won't lie but getting the tattoo itself wasn't all that bad it wasn't like the worst experience i've ever had or anything like that but the sort of few days afterwards it wasn't so pretty because you know that blood rush feeling the next day after you get a tattoo if you don't know what blood rush is it's basically you get a new tattoo and then 
the few days after you have this weird sensation of like when you're like stagnant stagnant but when you've been sitting around in the same position for a while and then you get up and then this the blood that has pulled wherever kind of just rushes to the place where you got tattooed and it just it's awful it feels so painful number six is stomach believe it or not i do have a couple of stomach tattoos but these are the tattoos i want lasered off or covered up the most they are awful it's not something i talk about a lot they are pretty bad <laughs> especially this tribal heart thing that i have near my like navel area oh god it's awful it didn't look so bad when i was like super skinny and i'm not saying that you know if you have a stomach you can't have tattoos that's you know the complete opposite of what i believe in but it, it's just so badly done and because it's on the skew if as well i don't, I don't know i just honestly i don't know <laughs> <laughs> this tattoo is it's so bad um but yeah i would definitely either get that covered up or lasered off at some point i'm really not in a rush to be doing that or anything i do like i've been thinking about it recently i wouldn't mind to have like a full stomach piece and that would cover this tattoo up so easily i it's i don't know i kind of just want to like finish my neck finish my arm because this is still a work in progress mainly up here and stuff like that but yeah anyway stomach tattoos it, it was stingy i would say like there was a bit of pressure to it um the tattoo artist that did it which was a, a pretty bad tattoo artist was putting so much pressure on my stomach and just yeah really pressing down i think that was the most uncomfortable bit about the whole thing number five is upper back or on the back of your neck i have a tattoo there it's of like this hamza ham uh, again i've had this for quite a while i want to say it's about eight years old at this point maybe nine but the tattoo i had it is a cover-up but the tattoo i had underneath was oh my god it was so bad <laughs> so so bad it was of this heart with wings and yeah i it just didn't heal right it looked awful so i have had that placement tattooed um twice now and then the the cover-up obviously goes up to the back of my neck and honestly it again wasn't that bad i think the only bit that was a little bit spicy was that you know like at the top of your back you've got like a like a ball joint <laughs> it's not a joint but like your spine protrude pro, protrudes put protrudes a bit more so you've got like a bit of a bony bit at the top there where your neck meets your back that was a bit of a spicy area but other than that it was bearable number four is upper arms so your sort of bicepy area this juicy bit right here again like i was saying about forearms the is areas that are spicier than others i would definitely say like this kind of area of your upper arm is quite tender because the skin is a little bit thinner there than it is up here um, but other than that again compared to like my hand tattoos and neck tattoos i will happily sit through this <laughs> any day number three is shin tattoos i have a couple of shin tattoos and again like i was saying about the forearm and the bicep some areas will be a bit more spicier than others so if you do get a sort of bigger shin tattoo you'll notice some areas aren't so bad and then other areas are a bit like ouch that was wet fire i got a tattoo based on one of my favorite films the craft and i remember getting it done and like the line work was pretty spicy but line work for me is always the worst bit but when the tattoo artist keely was doing the dot work of it oh man it was so relaxing like i would happily have that done for free <laughs> not for free but like i'll have that done for the sake of having it done it was just so relaxing i don't i just really enjoy getting dot work done there's quite a bit of dot work within my blast over sleeve within like the petals of the flowers and stuff and i don't know like the dotting motion i guess it's kind of a little bit like acupuncture maybe i don't know i've never had acupuncture done to me ever but it's just got such a nice calm relaxing feel to it that might be a bit weird but I don't know i, I kind of enjoy it i always hope <laughs> that there's some kind of dot work situation in any tattoo that i get done because i just it relaxes me <laughs> and then they go on to line work again and it's sweet fresh hell and number two is a tattoo i have behind one of my ears i don't know which ear it is it's one of these <laughs> is it this one i don't know yeah it's this one. me and my best friend yasmin have a matching tattoo it's a music note with a heart and i swear down i barely felt anything the only th way i can describe the feeling of that one it felt like someone had like a phone 
on the back of my head and it was vibrating it was like an intense vibration on my like skull area like you know that hard bit behind your ear that's like obviously your skull and i think because it was such a small tattoo as well it really wasn't that bad and it only took like five minutes 10 max and number one is inner arm tattoos specifically just one for me because this was kind of saying the same words over and over again but it was kind of spicy for me this tattoo in here this quote it says in order to be irreplaceable one must always be different i barely felt a thing for this tattoo and i have one reason why i didn't feel anything and this might seem a bit like morbid or dark i don't know but i i want to be honest with you guys but i got that tattoo i think like two i think it was like two days after my nan passed away and my nan was a huge part of my life she was just an absolute angel i have a tattoo for her of, of snow white because she loved the film snow white and she reminds me of snow white as well um because she would always take in birds and she loved animals and stuff like that but yeah it was two days after my nan passed away and i don't know if i was like emotionally numb which made my whole body numb i don't know if that was a thing or not but because like i look at this one and i'm just like yeah that that hurt it was like i had numbing cream on or something i barely felt anything let me know if you guys have ever had any experiences like that like you've gone through something kind of upsetting or maybe traumatic or whatever and you got a tattoo and it you just you're numb i don't know it's it's weird <laughs> that's the only time it's happened for me so i don't know that was a weird one uh that's the list right there short and sweet i would absolutely love to know your least painful tattoos so comment them down below and yeah i hope you're all well and safe and until my next video bye <laughs>